Good morning. It's Thursday, November 14th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Good Becomes Enemy of Best. And our scripture is Romans chapter 1. But God shows his anger from heaven against all sinful, wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. They know the truth about God because he has made it obvious to them. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and sky. Through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they had no excuse for not knowing God. Yes, they knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God or even give him thanks. And they began to think of foolish ideas of what God was like. As a result, their minds became dark and confused. Claiming to be wise, they instead become utter fools. And instead of worshiping the glorious, ever-living God, they worshiped idols made to look like mere people and birds and animals and reptiles. So God abandoned them to do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. As a result, they did vile and degrading things with each other's bodies. They traded the truth about God for a lie. So they worshipped and served the things God created instead of the Creator Himself, who is worthy of eternal praise. Amen. Favorite sayings become favorites because they open a whole new world of understanding and resonate with truth deep within. Here's one of mine. Don't let the good become the enemy of the best. The deep truth of this saying is that even good things, family, friends, opportunities, and material blessings can become obstacles to our spiritual growth. Whatever good things God has placed in our hands are never to become more important than the God who gives them. This was the mistake Paul was holding up to the Roman believers. There are many areas of life that can become enemies to spiritual health, and sorting out the wheat and chaff are part of discipleship for the believer. For instance, food is good. Trust me on this. But living to eat instead of eating to live is not Money is useful in many ways. If getting more of it becomes your focus in life, it's an enemy. Sex is a God-given blessing and part of the way God is given for our enjoyment and participation in His creative ways. But when it becomes our obsession, it can lead to perversion and distort everything good and holy. Friendships are needful, as are the bonds of family, but these must stand behind allegiance to Almighty God. Work is necessary, and God ordained that we should be productive. But when work crowds out everything, even excluding time for worship, we've let our work ethic become our God. And therein is the sticking point, worshiping the gifts rather than the giver of those gifts. In so doing, we've not only allowed the good things of God to become enemy to the best that God wants for us, We've allowed ourselves, good creations of God, to become enemy of God. For you today, wherever your activities take you on this day, make sure to be aware who or what is ordering those feet of yours. The pathway you take always leads somewhere. Destinations are achieved one step at a time. For good or best, that's our choice. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.